Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. List views are a really important part of Salesforce. They help your users find the records they're looking for really easily and quickly. And what's nice about it is you can have a bunch of different list views. You know, show me the deals closing this month, next month, big deals, small deals, whatever. Well, a big part of list views is being able to edit them and manage them yourself. So when you click that little gear icon, you should see these options to let you edit the filters of a list view or change the columns or the fields displayed in the list view uh, for you. However, there are certain times where those options may be grayed out entirely. So let me explain why you may not have the options to edit a list view. Uh, the first one is you may just not have permissions to edit list views. Or you may be looking at a list view someone else shared with you and you don't have permissions to edit public list views. However, the most common one is this recently viewed list view. On any tab for any object, Salesforce has a standard recently viewed list view and that is not editable by end users. So if you want to make sure that your users have the right permissions, uh, go to the appropriate profile that you care about and look for list view. And there are two list view permissions that matter. So we've got one that is create and customize list views, and that lets your users create their own list views and edit their own list views. Then there's manage public list views. This lets them share list views with other users and edit list views that have been shared with them. All right, so if you have those two permissions, then you can edit pretty much any list view except for the recently viewed list view. If you want to change that list view, the way you do it is you go into the object manager for that object. In my case, let's say it's opportunities. And you're going to go to the search layouts section where you can then change the default layout. So the administrator can go in and change which columns appear in what order in the recently viewed tab. This is not something regular end users can do. And the recently viewed tab doesn't have any filter criteria. It always just shows that user's recently viewed records. So this is something the admin would do. They would go in, update the search layout, and then the recently viewed tab would change for users. And if they went in and changed those columns again or added and removed more columns and hit save, you can see that the very next time someone refreshes the recently viewed tab, those changes take effect. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.